Good morning, children of God all over the world. Good morning, every ear that cares to listen and every soul that is willing to be saved. I pray, Almighty God, we save your soul, we save my soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we come unto you at this hour of the day, children of God all over the world. To remind us, to admonish us with the word of God about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you listen, your soul shall be nourished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for preserving our life. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us here safely. Thank you, Almighty Father, for another privilege given unto us to be among the living, to be among the hearers, to be among the doers, to be among the speakers of your words. Lord, let your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Your words that will be going out today, O Lord, Father, let it nourish soul, let it save soul, let it convert soul, and let it bring soul into your vineyard. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Brethren, let's quickly open our Bible to the book of Revelation. Chapter 22. We are reading from verse 12. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. I read. And behold... I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. To give every man according as his work shall be. This is Jesus Christ speaking to you and I, brothers and sisters, mommy and daddy, old or young. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. This is just a reminder. We have been hearing it before we were born, they have been saying it. Since we were born, they have been saying it. Many might be pondering on this in their heart. When will Jesus come? <laughs> they have been saying it long ago. Jesus Christ will definitely come. Whether they have been saying it long ago or not, have it at the back of your mind. Have it in mind that one day Jesus will come. And he said in his word, he said, I come quickly. He did not say, I will come. He said, I come quickly. He will come. He has come. He's around. His coming is imminent. His coming is very close, whether you believe it or not. He's coming quickly. It will come like a flash of light. It will come like a thunderstorm. Don't let it come unaware to you. Get ready and prepare. Forsake your sinful life. Renounce your sin. So that when it comes, you can reign supreme with him. So that when it comes, you will not be found guilty. So that when it comes, no blemish will be found in you. Brethren, you need to renounce your sin. Forsake your sinful life. Every sin of lies, every sin of fornication, every sin of backbiting, every sin of unrighteousness, every sin of lasciviousness, every sin of ritual killings, Sins of uh, of warmongers, sins, and whatever sin, whatever abominable things you can think of, whatever you are doing that somebody must not know about, it's a sin. It's a sin. Stay away from it. Jesus is coming very soon. His coming is very close. His coming is imminent. Is coming is now. 
his coming is now jesus is coming very soon forsake your sinful life for the fact that he has not come now does not mean he is not coming for the fact that you are still living does not mean jesus is not coming for the fact that you have been hearing it right from the time you were born for the fact that they have been saying it before you were born does not stop his coming is coming very soon you need to prepare so that your own will not be and i know i will have prepared so that you can reign with him when he comes he said when he comes he said he's coming with his reward and to give according to everyone according to how their work shall be brethren it is of two faces either good or bad if you do it good you will receive a bountiful reward a good reward if you do it bad you still receive another bountiful reward but a bad reward i pray bad reward will not be your portion bad reward will not be my portion in the mighty name of jesus christ we will all be crowned with him in the mighty name of jesus christ but you need to give your life to Christ Jesus. You need to renounce your sin. You need to accept Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You need to understand that he died for you on the cross of Calvary. He died for you to live eternally. Don't jeopardize his death on the cross of Calvary. Repent your sin now that you are living. Repent your sin now renounce your sin now that you are still walking that you are still carrying your leg that there is still life in you tomorrow might be too late next minute might be too late next seconds might be too late brothers and sisters mommy and daddy you've heard this word in this same book of revelation chapter 22 verse 20 says he which testify these things said surely i come quickly <laughs> surely i come quickly that is see jesus talking to you and i is making us to realize he's giving us an assurance of his coming quickly he's coming quickly he says surely i come quickly Brethren, it is not a joking matter. Please avoid sinning. If you are ritual killers, you are sinners. If you are a kidnappers, you are sinners. If you are the one that tell lies, you are sinners. Whatever things you are doing that is abomination before God. If you are the one that lost after women, you are sinners. If you are the one that, that, that covet your neighbor's wife, that covet your neighbor's properties, you are sinners. Repent today. Repent today. Brethren, Jesus loves you. And I pray you will not regret in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn to Jesus today. Turn to him. Embrace Jesus Christ today. He died for you to live. He died for me to live. Repent today. Do good things. The Bible says, He that knoweth how to do good, but doeth it not, is a sinner. If you know how to do good, and you don't do it, you are a sinner. Repent from your sin today. And I pray, Almighty God, we accept you in His mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. God be with you all. In Jesus' name.